Hi Virgo, this is Logan with Golden Thread Tarot, and this is going to be your monthly reading for October. As usual, we light the Palo Santo to cleanse the space. So it's just us and the message. If you are still in September, welcome to the future. And if you're in October, welcome to the present. We cleanse the space for Virgo. Okay, let's begin. Messages for Virgo, October. Virgo, October. Okay, we have a lot from the animal spirit, okay? Don't normally get that many from the animal spirit. Here we go. So the first card that we have here is the shark card in reverse, okay? The shark card in reverse is my seven of swords in reverse. So there may have been some deceit that you've experienced um, recently, okay? Um, with the turtle card underneath this, you know, this is like my time card, right? Because turtles can live so, so long, right? So... I feel like there was a seven of swords energy, right? Like this situation that like wasn't awesome that happened, you know, again, maybe a little bit of deceit and um, yeah, you're, it's been some time since this happened, but like that just is there, right? I think every once in a while it pops up in your mind and you think about it. Um, so yeah, let's just, let's just, Keep that in mind, okay? But I feel like it has been some time since it happened. Um, the turtle, you know, can liken to the Six of Cups, essentially, okay? Now we have the Dragonfly Spirit and we have the Deer. So I think you're ready to move forward with something and spread your wings and really, um, like, I don't think dragonflies shed their skin, um, or maybe they do. I actually think they shed their skin. Let me know in the comments if they shed their skin. I think they're, I think they do. I don't think it's just um, cicadas that do that. So you're ready to shed a, a skin that you have here, right? This is, um, a, yeah, like a rebirth card, you know, almost like judgment, if you will. And then we have the deer in reverse. So this is more of like. Um, timid but super timid okay so you're like just dipping your toes into a situation all right and you're like a little bit worried about how things could unfold okay so i think there is some sort of interest in having like a new beginning of some sort okay but you're like nervous to start this because of this situation in the past right Now, 
I think you're aware of your own shadow aspects, okay? The raccoon card can indicate that we still have areas within ourselves that we have to look at, okay? I'm trying to figure out what card in tarot I could liken this to. Probably the moon, okay? Probably the moon, all right? So this little critter kind of hangs out in the darkness, right? And they're kind of like lurking around, looking for things, but... Um, something about like like nighttime and things kind of coming up to the surface but also definitely like but the moon talks about like unconscious and illusions so this is like the conscious moon card okay so this is like the moon with the ace of swords on top of it right so this is like clarity this is understanding this is being aware of your darker spots um and yeah and you have the wolf card. So this is more of like emperor energy, okay? So you are aware of your shadow areas, okay? And you're not afraid of them. You've acknowledged them, all right? And you're essentially in your full power here with the wolf card, okay? You're here in your full power and you feel confident. You're ready to move forward. You're excited about the future. You feel strong. You feel like you're in a good place. You feel pretty established, all right? Um, but, uh, you do have the firefly in reverse and this is definitely like, it's like a minor arcana of the sun, if that makes sense. Okay. So the firefly, um, is not the sun card, but again, it's almost there. So, so you are definitely having a lot of areas in which you feel really confident and very strong, but there is something that's kind of hitting your confidence a little bit this month, or at least not letting you shine in the way that you want to shine, okay? Something about your ability to shine this month will tap into this obviously a lot more in depth um, because this is a whole monthly reading. So we've got a good half an hour to go, right? We're going to go into the um, Archetype deck, Wild Unknown by Kim Kranz. And this was the Animal Spirit by Kim Kranz that I was just in. And all of my decks that I use are in the description box below, okay? I've been using these decks for many, many years, and I love them very much. I really don't like to use gender in tarot. It's so hard not to sometimes, okay? So what's making you a little bit insecure this month is this queen energy, okay? Are you attracting some sort of goddess into your life? Or God, if you're, if you're the other sex, right? Um, yeah, sorry if you hear my dog hacking. He's chewing on a, a marrow bone. I give him one on my Fridays. Today's my Friday. It's really Thursday, but it's my Friday, so... Anyway, um, yeah, there's a queen energy coming through here. Okay, we're going to pull one more card. The Bardo. Okay, this is the Bardo card. You also could feel like you have a lot of eyes on you this month. All right, sorry if I don't have one of those cameras that focuses, but a lot of eyes and they're like a little scary, right? So I think you might be feeling as though you could be judged this month by a lot of people. Maybe you're doing something that puts you in the public eye and um, yeah, that can cause you to feel maybe a little bit insecure. So maybe this this firefly insecure energy is coming from the the new feminine energy in your life but then also whatever you have going on where you are attracting um, a lot of this attention okay we still are going to look at what the bardo card is because i'm being called to to look it up okay
forgive me, I never know exactly where the card are, the cards are. The liminal, the in-between, the transition. It is said that the bardo is a place between this life and the next, a liminal realm through which souls pass. Envisioning this inherently inherently mysterious space creates the potential for us to rise above the concerns of this world and see our relationships through a cosmic and timeless lens. We may receive messages from those who are no longer with us or see visions of lives not yet lived. In the Bardo, there is potential to forgive the unforgivable, that Seven of Swords energy, to say the unsaid, Ace of Swords, truth, like we talked about, to see the unseen and to love the unloved, to let go of all of the things that cause us pain. The Bardo suspends us in its spaciousness for just long enough to open us to higher wisdom. Its energy does not belong to the earth as we know it, but rather to the cosmic network of which we are a single thread. When light, spaciousness, grace, forgiveness, and truth. When dark, torment, dislocation, hallucination, transience. Go deeper, the Tibetan Book of the Dead. When the veil between this life and the next is thinned, energy is stirred. This allows for remarkable healing and vision. I looked at it, but I didn't pick it up. But the bottom of this is the vision card. The bardo is not to be feared. Take advantage of its energy by recognizing what needs to be resolved. Trust that there is a message for you from the beyond. Who is speaking? Go ahead and listen. So I'm sure that you guys are already connected to the divine because you're on a YouTube reading channel, right? Okay. But there's something this month regarding, again, like you looking deeper into some sort of situation and Definitely, I could feel like, again, the dragonfly. I also picked up on like an ace of pentacles kind of energy. So this is like, you guys might be like really developing something new right now. Like a couple of new situations are coming through, okay? All right, let's get into some tarot. The sun upright as soon as we turn it. Devil in reverse. So I'm definitely, okay. <laughs> All right. So you are, okay. Ace of Swords here, as I expected. Okay. So you do have the King of Cups. All right. So again, there is no gender in tarot, but I'm definitely picking up that you are a masculine energy. Okay. And that... masculine energy okay this is really you being totally in control of your emotions and your thoughts you're coming off of some as someone who's emotionally available and 14 14 on the clock and emotionally mature okay this is a very attractive quality all right um, especially if you're trying to like woo this woman that you're kind of bringing into your life okay being emotionally mature and aware is extremely attractive, okay? This is someone that can navigate any storm, any situation with utter confidence, all right? Utter confidence, but a state of like, I'm so fine just because I know who I am and I'm in control of what's happening, okay? Next to this, you do have the Wheel of Fortune. So these are two very powerful cards, especially right next to each other, especially next to the Wolf card, which was the Emperor here, all right? So the Wheel of Fortune is all about good luck, 
and good fortune. So this is upright. So a lot of things this month are just gonna be going your way because they are. This is kind of like gonna be your month, okay? And I know that we're still kind of, you know, we're just recently coming out of, of Virgo and heading into Libra, but the energy is still gonna be going. You know, Jupiter is in Taurus. And, you know, it would be interesting for you to look up, um, you know, how Jupiter is affecting your sign, Virgo, okay, specifically. Um, but, you know, Jupiter is in Taurus until, well, if you don't know, Jupiter is in Taurus until next May. I don't know the exact date in May, which it's in till. Um, and we did go retrograde in Jupiter, September 4th, okay. So this can be a time, I'm experiencing this myself personally, is that the energy of the retrograde, especially me being a Taurus Libra Libra, I'm actually experiencing more positive experiences during the retrograde than I was when it was uh, direct, okay? So let me know um, how you feel or just pay attention to how you feel, of course, from now until the end of December when Jupiter goes back direct, okay? Um, I speculate October is going to be a very successful month for you and I wouldn't be surprised, um, you know, if the Six of Wands is somewhere close by, okay? At the end of the day, things are turning in your favor, all right? There is one thing that I would just like to mention to you is to ensure that you're not overgiving, okay? Don't overgive. We have the Six of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So this can be someone that gives but is looking for something back potentially. This is giving with strings attached. This is, and if you're not like that, then forgive me. This can also be just overgiving because you're a generous person, but then you strip yourself dry, okay? So no one wants to do that, especially when things are turning into your favor. I know you're a very generous person in general, it feels like, okay, especially as a Virgo, you know, you know, you guys end up being like doctors and professionals that deal with, you know, nurturing other people and, and, um, you know, provider energy, okay? So just make sure that you're not burning the candle at both ends and not um, overextending yourself, okay? That's gonna be a big message for this month is even though you have a lot to give, especially emotionally, okay? Don't overgive to the point of burning yourself out, all right? Just be easy. And the next message that was up here was the um, Eight of Wands in reverse, okay? So this does caution you to slow down a little bit, okay? Slow down a little bit. We have a lot of clarity coming in this month with the Ace of Swords upright, just like I told you guys um, over there. But this you're very aware and you're very clear on where you are right now, but this is just a caution to go slow, all right? Don't rush, do not rush, okay? Because if we rush, that's when mistakes happen, all right? Everything, divine timing, divine timing, okay? All right, why don't you Tell me more about this. Um, and I saw the Four of Swords upright. So resting this month is going to be very important. Tell me more about this Queen energy coming in, okay? So you could be, um, currently, you could be in a place of feeling as though, it's tough with the Four of Cups because there's a couple of energies that come through, so take it as it resonates, okay? You could be slightly apathetic about where you are in your life right now, okay? And apathetic is such a bad word, I would say, for this card. You have your three cups in front of you, okay? And you have your three cups in front of you and you're looking at them, right? So you're looking at your life right now, all of the accomplishments that you have, all of the things that you have done, 
to build the life that you have right now, right? But there's that fourth cup up there. And I don't know if you can see, I'm sorry, I don't have a good camera up here, but it's, it's literally being handed to you, okay? There's a beautiful um, brand new cup that's gonna be handed to you, but you can't see it, right? You can't see it because you're sitting there looking at what you have right now and you're wishing for that next cup, okay? But this next cup is going to be coming in, all right? And you have the death card. So there's going to be an ending to this, I don't want to say dullness, okay? Because I don't think you're a dull person, all right? But there's going to be an end to this stagnant energy that you've been feeling, okay? There's going to be an end to this, all right? With this death card upright. So again, you're going to have to be very patient, okay? The hanged man upright. This is telling us to slow our roll, be patient, okay? Be patient, sit with what you have, have right now, right? That four of cups is also about introspection. Sit there. Sit, relax, take it easy, don't rush. Chill out. Okay, because you don't want any deceptive energy to come creeping through here, all right? And I'm not trying to bring that energy into this reading, okay? But I told you we'd probably see the Seven of Swords, okay? And here it is. Here's the Seven of Swords. This is deception, all right? This is deception energy, okay? So just got the Emperor, right? We were talking about the Emperor multiple times, okay? So you are the emperor energy here, okay? And you're a very strong masculine energy and you're gonna be able to suss out anyone that you don't trust, okay? Anyone that you don't trust, any energies that feel after you, af feel after you, I mean, I, it's coming through like things that you feel like are, are trying to come after you this month, okay? Those eyes, right? Those eyes of people that were judging, okay? Let it go. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Let that go. You're the king here, right? You're the emperor here. And anyone that's trying to be shady, you're gonna see right through it. You're gonna see right through it. Okay. You do have the seven of wands in reverse. Now, this can have to do with feeling a little bit defeated. I'll be honest, okay? I think there's something that's gonna be happening this month that is gonna make you feel a little defeated, okay? I'm not able to defend yourself, your territory, what you've built, okay? And it's gonna have you up in your head a little bit about this, all right? And this is the Nine of Swords, okay? Upright. Sleepless nights, racking your brain, rumination. What could I have done? What went wrong, right? And after all of this hard work, all this hard work, Eight of Pentacles upright, and I'm still feeling left out in the cold. Why am I feeling so unworthy? Why am I feeling so unworthy if I have a pentacles upright when I put in so much work to get to where I am, right? Why is Virgo feeling unworthy as soon as I opened it? You're done with the heartbreak, okay? This devious energy could have been something that's from the past, right? But you're tired of heartbreak, three of swords in reverse. You're tired of heartbreak, two of swords in reverse.
Four of Pentacles in reverse. You're holding, you're having, okay. You're having a tough time letting go of something that is causing you indecision this month. Two of Swords, upright, okay? You have to let go of something that is tearing you in two, okay? Seven of Wands in reverse again. Ace of Wands. Wheel of Fortune again. Judgment. So something is tearing is is you're like I don't know how I ended up in this position of needing to choose this right now. I don't know what to do. Indecision, stalemate, you like not even stalemate, because stalemate isn't that in reverse, right? But you are stuck between you're in a rock in a hard place, whatever that saying is. You don't know what to do. You don't know what to do and you have the choice between something and then something else okay this might have to do with a love offer okay we have the king of cups again on the board and the page of cups you might be offering your heart okay you might be offering your heart here but it's a tough decision okay page of cups is Offering love, curious, playful love, okay? This is like the epitome of like the high school crush, okay? But then next to it, um, excuse me, next to it, King of Cups over here upright, is you know what you're doing by offering this, okay? You know what you're doing by offering this. You're smart, again, you're emotionally intelligent, you're available, you're emotionally available, you're ready to give love and you are tired of having to defend yourself, okay? You're tired of having to defend yourself. You're ready to start something new. Ace of Wands upright. You're ready for the good luck with the Wheel of Fortune again on the board, okay? You're ready for this good luck, new passionate beginnings, all right? And you're ready to have this, this awakening of what love can really be and what what this next st next whole s stage of your life can be, all right? You're tired of this old energy of feeling left out in the cold, feeling like someone's gonna hurt you, feeling like you're always on guard, right? You're ready to have this awesome, passionate, new beginning. And you're just gonna have to be smart. We have another two on the board, two of wands in reverse. You're gonna have to be smart about which direction you take, okay? Because you don't wanna end up with the 10 of cups in reverse, with choosing the person that's not meant for you, right? So be smart, four of cups of right again on the board, okay? Be smart, know what you have, know what you're looking for, and don't stray from that vision, okay? Because what you want exists. It does. Okay. Twenty nine minutes, okay. I'm just gonna pull one more card from here. And then we'll do one other card and then we'll tap out, okay? One more tarot card for Virgo, please. Right, you have the higher font, okay. Now, there could either be a Taurus in your life that's coming in, okay, or you're just ready to like do things by the book, court somebody, have a good, you know, relationship with someone, marriage, just do things right. You're ready to do things right, okay. Okay, pull one final card for Virgo, please. 
one final card for Virgo. Nope, just one. Even though I am made for inclusive love came next, okay? I am made for inclusive love. I'm not going to read that card, but it has everything to do with you're worthy of the love that you are seeking. And there's nothing weird about the fact that you want someone and you want them all to yourself and you want them to want you for themselves. There's no, nothing wrong with that. That's just like basic commitment, right? Fresh, fresh streams of beauty come from deep within. Listen softly, forgiveness. Root chakra, muladhara. With all of this energy from, I'm just speaking right now, with all of this energy from you at the past of that seven of swords, your root chakra might be obliterated right now, right? So you could feel a little bit unsafe, okay? I would recommend this month, in addition to this card, that um, you focus on your root chakra, which has to do with your uh, pelvis down to your feet. And that has to do with our sense of safety and it resonates with the color red. So I'd recommend eating red things this month, okay? Having uh, red outfits that you can wear, like a red shirt or red shoes, or um, just even if you have to just focus on the color red this month and focus on your root chakra, feeling safe. This has to do with our sense of safety, okay? You are safe and you have to trust that you're gonna make the right decisions and you're gonna bring in the right people that are gonna be here for you, all right? No more seven of swords, okay? That's like lying, cheating, stealing energy. No more of that. We're done, right? My personal chrysalis is worthy of 1,000 new moons of compassionate self-devotion. I begin making love real through the passage of redemption. You're redeeming yourself this month. Accepting 1,000 mistakes are possible before the beauty is born. No matter what's happened before this, it doesn't matter. You're heading into a life where things are going to change for the better, okay? I invite the freshest dreams to move the silent, deep waters of creativity within. As I quieten, I hear a dream beating velvet kisses upon my cheek. This quest of visions, again, has begun. How good could this be? Dang. Okay. This is a good month for you, Virgo. <laughs> I hope you have so much fun. And thank you so much for being here. And I will see you in November, okay? All right, bye-bye.